Jesus, these birds. All right, so basically, I got a lot to do today. What we're gonna try and do, shut up. What I'm trying to do today is I'm gonna trim off some of the tabs on the transmission and then we're gonna trim off uh, a little bit of these brackets that are sticking, that are protruding out of the transmission because it's kind of, it's interfering with the transmission tunnel and there's no point in having some of them. Some of them we absolutely need. Others, we do not. So, motor's gotta come out again, which is fine because the motor's gotta come out again multiple times for a variety of reasons. One of the biggest reasons is we gotta put the wiring harness on. And that just came in, which I showed you last video. And then we also gotta put in the transmission mounts and it'll be easier to do that with the transmission out of the tunnel. So let's pull this puppy. side was a little bit easier than the passenger side all I had to do was trim that little tab off I'm gonna come in here and file it down a little bit the other side I'm gonna file down the other stuff I may end up grinding it a little bit further but should be good I'm making a lot of room here so much room more than you would be more than you would think but you can see some spots where I'm making contact over there in the tunnel I'm gonna hit that with a the baby sledge and uh, keep going
So the keen observer might have noticed that we've got some uh, bugs taking up residence in all of my my manifold uh, bolt holes, stud holes, whatever you want to call them. I forgot what these are called, like mud daubers or something or other. So anyways, I'm going through the whole lot of them. I've already done it on this side, but I've cleaned out the holes. Just a uh, easy tap. We're not trying to cut metal, but I'm cleaning them out completely. And that's not for the manifold, but these are. So I cleaned those out and I put the studs that we're gonna be using for the Siggy kit on there. So it's kind of menial task. So I didn't videotape it, but if you really wanna see it, I'll go ahead and do it. Right, guys so now what i gotta do is i'm getting this all touched up with paint and all that and the transmission mounts you can see them in there one on one here and this one right here i haven't drilled those in yet because i got to take out the center, center console on the inside i haven't taken anything out yet up there yet once i do get the center console taken out i'm gonna size this the transmission the shifter into the tunnel hole and we're gonna see if I have any clearance issues. I have a feeling up underneath here where there's the hole up top, I think I'm gonna need to shave a little bit off on the driver's side just so I can get a, a smooth fit without digging into the new boot on my new shifter, which is right there. I don't wanna, this is a pretty nice billet shifter. I don't wanna have to mess that up, you know? All right. What the heck type of bolt is this? No oh, shit. Hmm. Hey. All right, so I'm inside. There's not a lot of light in here. Um, I removed the center console by undoing. There's two bolts in there. And then if you have a shifter, there's a couple bolts up here. I don't know what that's to. Um, and then the, if you pull on, pull out this panel down here, this one right here, you can reach around and pull out. Oh, this USB charger thing. And then once you get that out, you just pinch it and pull it out. And then it'll reveal these two bolts. You want to do those two bolts. And voila, the center console comes out. So now I have access to my my transmission tunnel from the top um i'm also going to clean some stuff up in here it is really hot in here but you know we got to keep going but um the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take out these seats because i got to get to i got to start drilling the holes for 
my mounts, which are there and there. Actually, I might be able to get away with just moving the carpet out of the way and scooting the seats all the way back. We'll see. But I, no matter what, got to get to the back seat and do the gas tank. So let us keep rolling. So another thing I'm going to show you is, you know, I was beating that transmission tunnel. Look what I've done. It's kind of molded that out a little bit. But that also showed me this interior. Come on. Uh-oh. So, let's go ahead and pull that one out, too. Ugh. This one is one of those bolt ones. Yeah. So, but what's cool about this is now, you should be able to access inside there for my transmission mount. Hopefully. We'll see. I don't know. Made a lot of... Probably loosen that one up there too which looks like a twisty flathead i don't know what the heck that is there's one right here too so maybe i can loosen these up that should give me some extra leeway to drill some holes hey guys so this is me uh test fitting it again sorry i didn't have any audio with it but um basically that's gonna the motor's gonna go in and out just so I can make sure that we're, you know, dry fitting it and making sure that we're getting closer and closer to actual fitment. So here we go. The is mostly in place. I'd say we have to come back another inch and a half inch. So let us see. Oh, hi. Why aren't you perfect? Just kidding. So likely it's going to be shifted a little bit to the driver's side. I don't actually think we're going to have to modify this at all. Still got to do the fuel pump. But, um, yeah. I'm going to call it a day today because we've done a lot of work. Ah, thanks for watching.